Who's there? Xavier, if that's you, I swear! Huh? Hey, Aaron. Oh, Kathy! Oh, it's only you. What do you mean, only me? I thought you were someone else. Athmal? No. Jenny? No, I... Oh. She told you about what happened, didn't she? Of course she did. Why wouldn't she? I'm her best friend, after all. Just leave what happened at that, okay? I don't want to make this a big ordeal anymore. What the... Let go of me! What's your problem? Is there a problem anymore? Really, the only problems between us have given up on you. <laughs> what I'm trying to tell you, Aaron, is... I like you. You like me? I don't just like you. I'm sorry, but I'm not going through this again. Aaron, I can make you happier than anyone else. I can make you happier than Diana, Jenny, or even Athmau. What are you? Don't you see? Those three were getting between us. That's why I had to take care of them. What? The notes. I had to show them, make them understand through my letters they could never be good enough for you. You started the rumors? That was you? All of that work was to keep them away from you. You're crazy. Crazy about you? <laughs> now, you should really have the... Huh? What is going on? Jenny? Betty! I was just... Uh, making sure Aaron knew how I felt about your breakup. And... We heard everything, Kathy. What? Don't play dumb! I heard what you said! I heard you confess to him! Not only that, the notes, Kathy! Look, let's calm down and try to work through this, okay? First off, Jenny, you're my friend, and I still love you. You told me you didn't even care about him! That he wasn't your type! I just said you are my friend! Why would I tell my friend who's crushing on the same guy that I was crushing too? That's just rude. What? I didn't want to hurt Jenny if I could help it. I wasn't expecting her to go up and just confess to him. That ruined everything. But the problem eventually took care of itself, didn't it? <laughs> Kathy, what's gotten into you? You're so an idiot! Don't you know the pain and suffering you've caused? <laughs> You're lecturing me? You were so obsessed with Aaron that you didn't even care about the other people who were interested in him. You didn't even realize what I was doing. You probably even wanted me to do this. Why don't you think we don't see Diana around Aaron anymore? You did this to her too? That's right. And the general public is so thirsty for gossip since nothing exciting ever happens. So they were so quick to believe rumors about anyone. As long as it made them feel better about themselves. Not only that, but did you even care about Aaron? You never let him talk, and you never let him be around others! You're just as bad as me! That's enough! Kathy, we're going.
going to the dean's office. <laughs> you can't make me. <laughs> Ow! Ouch! Betty? Wanna try me? Why are you so much stronger than you look? Kathy, I'm disappointed in you. Not only as a person, but as a friend. Did you guys even care about me? We'll be taking this to the Dean's office, Kathy. Hey, Aaron. Jenny, I'm sorry for... No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for the way I was to you. The truth is, after talking to Betty and hearing Kathy just admit to what she did, I realized that... I was more so in love with the idea of you and not really into you as a person. Yeah, I could tell. I think I have some things to think about when it comes to love. So if this counts for anything, I'm really sorry about what I put you through. I accept the apology. I just don't want to go through that again. Yeah. Well, see you around. Jenny! Uh-huh? Uh, uh, I... I saw Betty and Kathy. I think they're in some kind of fight? What do you mean? Well, Betty was holding Kathy's arms back, and Kathy was shouting some pretty... mean things. Uh, uh where were they headed? Towards the campus office. Hmm, then I better go join them. Is everything okay? Yeah, just... A friend turned out not to be a friend. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Hey, if there's anything I can do to help, I can be here to help you. That's sweet of you, Mac. Hey, would you mind walking with me to the campus office? Really? <clears throat> I mean, sure. That's not creepy, right? No, it's not. Not if I'm inviting you. Come on. I need to get evidence. <laughs> Once he's exposed up. <laughs> I hired you to keep an eye on my son. And all I find is evidence of you trying to prove he's something he's not. Something he's not? You told me! Take him away. No! No! Sir, what was that about? Nothing. He's an agent gone mad. That's all. Such a shame, too. He had done great work here. What do you mean? He allowed Aaron to- Look at this. Recent evidence of Aaron out and about. Sir, without Xavier or Agent R, you'll need to assign a new agent to watch over him. Yes. But I can take care of the problem at the root as well. <sighs> Where were you? I thought you left. Where were you, Aaron? 
I was in class. What's the big deal? Aaron, I know what's been going on. You can't hide it anymore. What do you mean? I know that under the eye of Agent R and Xavier that you've been sneaking around seeing people. You've been going out. Ugh, what's the issue with that? The issue is that I got a call from the Dean about a girl who caused issues because of you. Do you not understand the situation that puts us in? That brings more attention to you, exactly what we don't want. I understand that it puts you in a situation to look bad. That's it. I'm putting you on extreme lockdown. No more going out. What? I won't! It's that, or I will remove you from your funding to even attend this school. That's... I will remove you from your entire inheritance! You need to be under control. You need someone to watch you. Because you're not going to be the one that does it, are you? You... I have someone who actually watches out for me. Who? Agent R. Hmm. That agent has been relieved of his duties. What? You don't need someone like him watching over you. Aaron, I don't think you're the cage bird you think you are. You're free to have your own opinions, your own desires, and your own wants. Enough is enough! What? I'm done being under your control! I'm done with this entire thing! Where are you going, Aaron? Aaron? Get back here this instant, or so help me you are- Keep your money! I don't need it or you! I'm tired of being caged up. I'm tired of being under your control. I'm old enough to make my own decisions for myself. And I've decided that I want nothing to do with you or this family! I'll make my own way for myself. by around 3 p.m., right? Yeah. It's 3 p.m. What? I must have overslept. <laughs> well, if you need me to come by another time, I don't mind. No, no. It's just, I've been working night shifts, so things have been getting a little crazy. Come on in. Wow. Nice place. Is it much? Here, I brought you this plant. I thought it would be a nice housewarming gift. I mean, I know you managed to get this place a few months ago, but... No, I, uh... I really appreciate it. It'll add uh, more to the place. What? It's just been a long time since I'd seen you in person. You look good. Uh, thanks. So, uh, how's college going? Going into my final semester this upcoming winter. <laughs> really excited about it. I'm glad. Oh, by the way. Here. Huh? What the? Surprise! <laughs> I use the plant as a distraction. Ah, this is 
I know, I know, it's it's probably too much, but but don't worry. I, it's used and refurbished, and you're on a small plan that I'm going to pay for. At least until you can get up on your own. Ugh. Remember when you were in college and how I kept telling you I was going to help you get a phone? Well, I have owned up to my promise. <laughs> I... I'm sorry. It's too much. No, it's not. I just wasn't expecting it. Honestly, I really needed one. And this came in time. <laughs> Thank you so much. No problem at all. I just wanted to help you. Since you were always there for me before. Thank you. Huh? What's that? Oh, right. Last thing. This box? It was given to me by a man who went by the name of, uh, R? Huh? I didn't ask, but I remember him from campus my freshman year. He had pointy sunglasses and, like, this flame shirt on. Anyway, he wanted me to give you this. For me? All my stuff from college. Thanks, Agent R. You okay? <laughs> yeah, I'm fine. Just remembering stuff. <laughs> so, why don't you give me the grand tour of the place? Oh, uh, this is my uh, kitchen counter. Ooh. Fancy. And over here is where I look out the window. Give me one more time. Give me one more time.